Does SATCOM on the scene make HF radio obsolete? Now more than ever, no. The recent Maui wildfires revealed something noteworthy. When the Red Cross arrived, immediately after the fire that destroyed much of the town of Lahaina, they were offered ham radio support. And according to reports from a Hawaii Aries net, the offer was rejected. The stated reason in the Red Cross response was that, quote, we have been issued cell phones and satellite phones, close quote. The Maui wildfires have revealed an immense amount of insight into how current and future disasters are and will be responded to. It also revealed that we, as citizens, need to be adaptable and self-reliant. This means keeping a mindset as if no one is coming to help you. We also need to guard ourselves from getting trapped into preparing for the previous disaster. Each disaster is unique and bring their own challenges. Mount St. Helens eruption, unprecedented. September 11th, unprecedented. Hurricane Katrina, unprecedented. The East Palestine, Ohio train derailment, unprecedented. Maui wildfires, unprecedented. Expect future disasters to be unprecedented. In other words, not like what we've seen before. The federal government, the military, the Red Cross, and other non-government organizations, NGOs, are dismissive of HF radio communications because they now rely almost exclusively on satellite communications. Even some Patriot and Prepper groups have stated they have invested in satellite phones for their communications plans. So, are HF radio communications obsolete? The answer is still no, and here's why. Governments and NGOs are primarily concerned with one thing in a major disaster, COG, or COG, Continuity of Government. The term used to be civil defense, which heavily involved the civilian population. You'll notice that in Maui, ham radio support was rejected because the Red Cross had been issued satellite phones. But what about the citizens? They are the ones quoted repeatedly that their greatest need was information, communications. So, who were the Red Cross communicating with on their sat phones? Their chain of command, FEMA, and other government entities, not the citizens. Even ARIES, the Amateur Radio Emergency Service, is oriented towards supporting government entities, primarily local and state governments. And in Maui, their services were essentially dismissed. And Ares has a policy against self-deploying, so they sat waiting for an order to deploy, which never came, so far as we've been able to tell. Satellite technology is amazing, wonderful. If you or your group or organization can afford it, satellite phones can be an invaluable tool to add to your comms toolbox. So we're not saying no to sat phones. We're saying don't say no to HF, even if you have a sat phone. In fact, if you could only have one, get HF radio capable first. Here are some considerations. Your only option for OTH, or over the horizon communications, in a grid down, comms down environment are satellites and HF, high frequency radio communications. So let's compare. Satellite communications requires complex and a massive support system and personnel and infrastructure. HF radio requires no supporting infrastructure. Satellite requires numerous highly technical support personnel. HF requires a radio and an operator. Users cannot troubleshoot and repair failures. With HF comms, the user with experience can usually troubleshoot and overcome most failures. With satellite, you have no control over sat comms, administratively or technologically. With HF comms, you have full control over your own HF communications. National security and critical infrastructure component. HF comms is not a national security critical infrastructure. Satellite communications also have been targeted by adversaries. 
and special weapons have been developed to deal with satellites kinetically, such as missiles, and also through cyber attack. In fact, satellite communications infrastructure has multiple cyber attack vectors. HF is not vulnerable to cyber attacks. Satellite cannot be used anonymously. There is a number, an ID, an account, which is fixed. HF communications may be used anonymously and the user identity can be changed frequently. With satellite, services can be easily cut. With HF, it is not subject to the whims of a service provider or a technician cutting your service. With satellites, your GPS coordinates are transmitted. HF radio does not transmit your GPS coordinates and pinpointing the precise location of HF signals can be made much more difficult. There are pros to satellite communications. One is that it requires no specialized training by the end user. The con to HF radio is that it requires technical skills and regular practice. But the freedom and the independence of HF radio are so worth it. Another pro to satellite communications is that it does not require testing or a license. HF radio communications requires a license. This is your training ground for amateur radio operators to become proficient with their equipment and their skills so that in a civil defense operating environment when you're no longer a ham radio operator but a civil defense radio operator you already have the skills necessary to communicate. Both satellite and HF communications are susceptible to solar activity both have been banned in conflict zones, resulting in arrest and death upon capture of the banned equipment. And both signals can be jammed. However, if your satellite signal is jammed, you're done. If your HF signal is jammed, you can change frequencies or bands. Local communications should be your first priority. But if satellites are targeted, jammed, or fail for any number of reasons, there are no over-the-horizon communications alternatives. HF radio communications requires no commercial power grid, no internet, no cell towers, no satellites, and no other supporting infrastructure or personnel besides your friend on the other end of the signal with an HF radio. Expect more chaos and more unprecedented disasters. And remember, civil defense is no longer a government-sponsored program. It's now the responsibility of each individual person. While governments and NGOs are concerning themselves with continuity of government, you should be striving for self-reliance. No one cares more for you, your family, or your community more than you, your family, and your community. For over-the-horizon communications, get HF capable. Practice regularly and master it. Now, get your comms up.